in this lecture we are going to learn about one very important concept in algorithm and discrete math and which is called generating function okay so it's a very wonderful tool that is available to find closed form expression for recurrence formulas okay so we will see what it does okay so for example we have fibonacci series fi is f of i minus 1 plus f of i minus 2 so usually i know that okay f of 1 is 1 f of 0 is 0 so f of 2 i can find and so on okay so let's see so fibonacci sequence so f0 is 0 f of 1 is 1 and f of n is f of n minus 1 plus f of n minus 2 okay so this series is a recurrence relation in which f of n is the sum of previous two sequence numbers that is f of n minus 1 plus f of n minus 2 okay so this is the recurrence formula and usually we calculate bottom up okay so f0 is 0 f of 1 is 1 so now f2 will be f1 plus f0 so it is 1 f3 is f2 plus f1 so it is 2 f4 is f3 plus f2 it is 3 f5 is f4 plus f3 so it becomes 3 plus 2 the previous two summations sum of previous two terms so it becomes 5 f6 is f5 plus f4 so it's 5 plus 3 8 and f7 is 8 plus 5 13 okay so we see this is Fibonacci series and if I want to find f of n then you have to go bottom up and you will need a code that will run in theta of n time okay time complexity but the question again is can we improve so can we find a closed formula form formula for this and can we calculate this in constant time okay so theta of 1 constant time calculation can be it be done for Fibonacci sequence okay so let's see we will look at a thing which is known as generating function so generating function is given here so it's a concept where what we do we make a sequence we convert a sequence into a function okay a mathematical function or polynomial okay of infinite degree so what we do f of z is i is equal summation i is equal to 0 to infinity f of i is z to the power of i so it basically each of the z z to the power of i the coefficient of z to the power of i is f i which is the i s fibonacci term okay so what happens is we know that f0 is 0 so 0 into z to the power of 0 f of 1 is 1 so 1 into z f of 2 is also 1 so 1 into z square f of 3 is f2 plus f1 so 2 into z cube f of 4 is 3 2 plus 1 and f of 5 is f4 plus f3 so 3 plus 2 5 and so on so we get this infinite series okay the summation this polynomial and now what happens is that we try to manipulate this okay in this open like it's going till infinity can we make it kind of recursion can we use the recursion that is present in Fibonacci series so f of z is f1 0 z to the power of 0 plus 1 into z to the power of 1 and then I can sum again i is equal to 2 to infinity f i z to the power of i okay so now what happens is this term is 0 so there is z and i is equal to 2 to infinity now what I do f i is f of i minus 1 plus f of i minus 2 so I expand this f i to be f i minus 1 plus f i minus 2 and then z to the power of i is there so now this becomes z plus i separate these terms so i is equal to 2 to infinity summation f of i minus 1 z to the power of i 
and there is another term f of i minus 2 z to the power of i okay so what we can do here is now i take z outside so it becomes i is equal to 2 to infinity summation f of i minus 1 z to the power of i minus 1 okay now the coefficient and the power of z are the same here also to make this true i take z square out so it becomes f of i minus 2 into z to the power of i minus 2 okay so this is written and now if you observe this so this is nothing but f of z this is nothing but f of z so now f of z is z plus z into f of z plus z square into f of z so separating f of z out so f z 1 minus z minus z square is equal to z so f of z you will get as z by 1 minus z minus z square so now you will say that okay after so much of manipulation what we get so we get a uh, an expression an algebraic expression for f of z now what we can do so let's see so finding closed form so now what will happen this is a quadratic polynomial i can now what i can do is make it into two multiples okay factorize it so factorize so 1 minus alpha 1 z 1 minus alpha 2 z i can do this where alpha 1 is 1 by 2 1 plus root 5 alpha 2 is 1 by 2 1 minus root 5 okay so now i can factorize this 1 minus z minus z square so by partial fractions now z by 1 minus z minus z square will be some a1 constant by 1 minus alpha 1 z plus a2 by 1 minus alpha 2 z okay so here a1 will if you try to find these two it will be a1 is 1 by root 5 a2 is minus 1 by root 5 so now you will have z by 1 minus z minus z square is of this form now based on your infinite geometric series 1 by 1 minus alpha 1 z is 1 plus alpha 1 z plus alpha 1 square z square plus 1 by alpha 1 cube z cube till infinity similarly for 1 minus alpha 2 z you infinite expansion into infinite series now f of z is 1 by root 5 1 minus 1 plus alpha 1 i subtract these two okay so alpha 1 minus alpha 2 z alpha 1 square minus alpha 2 square z square alpha 1 whole cube minus alpha 2 whole cube z cube so this goes on so from here we see that z to the power of n has coefficient alpha 1 to the power of n minus alpha 2 to the power of n so fn the and this was what so this was the the coefficients were the fibonacci series coefficient so fn is alpha 1 to the power of n minus alpha 2 to the power of n by root 5 and this is nothing but this expression and as we saw that because by the recurrence all these must be natural numbers isn't it because sum of natural numbers is natural number so even this such rational so numbers when they you add them it will come out to and divided by root 5 this comes out to be an integer or natural number so this finds for us the closed form for Fibonacci number okay nth Fibonacci number and it helps because now you can directly find instead of theta n algorithm in just a constant time you can tell me what is fn so i hope you understand this so thanks a lot